Now then, my next guest is living proof that this competition does open musical doors. Since winning the Song Prize here two years ago, she's enjoyed a glittering career and recently released her first solo CD. It's Elizabeth Watts! <laughs> How are you? Good, thank you. Is it nice being back? Very nice. Nice to be on this side of the fence as well, yeah. What have we made of the competition tonight? Oh, it's been fabulous, isn't it? Fabulous voices, fabulous singing, interpretations, characters. The last thing we heard, such a, such a dramatic singer interested in all the psychology of everything. You know, we've had such variety as well. Do you think you'd have got through this round? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'd even have been selected for the competition I was listening to earlier. I love the way you say, I don't know. I don't care. I've had a great <laughs> two years. <laughs> oh, too right. <laughs> Come on, what have been some of the highlights then? Oh, wow. Signing exclusively to Sony, surely, a brilliant highlight. And releasing my first album, Super Leader. Can I just um, say, we've got a real couple of uh, name droppers, haven't we? This one's with Sting, <laughs> you're with Sony. <laughs> and I've been singing with Welsh National Opera, with Rebecca, which has been fantastic. We were doing Figaro together. Um, and I did the same role, Susanna, in Santa Fe. And I've been singing concerts all over the place. And I'm about to go across to Europe to sing loads of stuff with rock orchestra. And Oh, it's just been fabulous. She hasn't been busy at all. Not at all. <laughs> but it's great, because you're proof that this competition can, you know, do so much for your career. Exactly. It's a great launch pad. You know, you can't just sit back and, and let it happen. You have to be going out there all the while. But it's a great thing to say that you've done. People know about it. It's a great calling card. Alien, uh, let's talk about Vera. I enjoyed that, uh, having a bit of Barber, some 20th century repertoire. We have been saying it's woefully lacking in this competition. I think for obvious reasons, it's not always very easy on the ear. I think Vera did make it easy, and also she brought the meaning throughout the whole thing. Um, sustaining that level of um, lyricism is quite hard in that sort of piece, and equally in the Debussy. But then she had Mozart, so she had a, a slight kind of different repertoire to, to keep us going. <laughs> very briefly, she reads uh, Ian Rankin novels. She didn't murder anything, did she? <laughs> Not for me to say that, is it? No. But um, I think maybe she should steer clear from the Mozart and concentrate on the different repertoire this evening, she sang. Thank you very much, ladies. If the Highlights programme isn't enough for you, there's extensive coverage of this competition and the Song Prize final on BBC Four. Radio 3, Radio Wales and Radio Cymru also have a slice of the action. You can, of course, also visit our website, bbc.co.uk slash Cardiff Singer. Last onto the stage is bass singer Jan Martinik from the Czech Republic. Ha 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 